Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm taking a look at a portable solar panel that you can take with you uh, where you go camping, RVing, etc. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It checks a number of the best boxes. All right, it's incredibly durable. It's really well made. It's got a nice handle, good buckles, and some tie-down straps in all four corners. I do like that. It allows you to be really creative with how you, you set it up and secure it. It also has feet feet to come out the back and put it at an angle which is really nice an angle to the sun you can move this panel quite readily so you can actually out of this 100 watt panel get 500 watt hours a day because you can figure most solar people will tell you figure on five hours of sun a day I can actually get 500 watt hours so what does that mean well I can use the power with the panel itself because it does have a DC inverter involved so it will put out 18 volts at up to what, what would that be 5.5 amps <laughs> so uh it, it does have some good power behind it uh, and it allows me to use it so i can plug in three different usb devices as well as a solar generator so the first usb you know usb it's five volts right type a well it'll go up to 15 watts that's three amps which is more than your your a charger inside so this will charge your phone rapidly there's another USB port that is a quick charge which means it'll go up to 18 watts which means this is going to be some of the best charging you've seen on your phone there's also a type C connector that goes up to 45 watts which means this will charge up a notebook with nothing else involved but the real reason to get one of these is to support a solar generator and a solar generator is something like this it looks like a little mini cooler but it's a battery it's a charger and it's an inverter and once you learn about how to look at those different things you really uh, learn how to be able to well look at these different inverters differently what I like is uh, well I'm gonna show you another one that they sent me this is from light power as well this is a thousand watt uh, device but I'm not going to recommend this one and that's because it all comes down to a responsible design and a responsible design I think you should have an input power that's how much power you can put into this thing uh, via the Sun <laughs> uh, should be your storage divided by five hours so if your storage is a thousand watt hours then you should be able to uh, well take 200 watts an hour and this thing can't and another thing you think uh, these things should be designed for is tolerance uh, if I plug in too much you should give me an error all my other devices give me an error this one let out the smoke they sent me another one it let out the smoke as well so uh, I'm not recommending their their power device right now but I am recommending the panel the panel is very it's highly efficient fits really well in my Sienna I use it as the wind guard and guess what I can charge phones tablets even a small notebook uh, all while I'm out surfing without anything else I can also plug in my solar generator in my car and charge it while I'm out there and it will charge it so that is pretty good uh, although it's much better when it's outside as opposed to behind a reflective windshield but it'll still get the job done so there you go guys uh, this has been really really cool I am a big fan of this I do love the solar generators and the whole lineup I have a couple of them feel free to ask me questions it's all simple math it comes down to what do you need to uh, hold up and for how long and that's going to dictate what you can get I really like this one this is probably my my go-to uh, is because this one is so small and it's light I can pick this one up quite easily and uh, uh, that's what the one I use most of the time I can trust it I can go ahead and plug something into it and know that my car is gonna be there because it will turn off if it gets too much power or for too long it does a beautiful job uh, I also like the blue Eddy. it's an excellent one it has so much power I can run a leaf blower at like 90% and it'll hold up nicely but if you wanted to run something like a heater it's 500 watts for while you're camping uh, if you have 1500 watt hour battery it's gonna hold up for what three hours so you really just have to do the math and know how much you've got and then you're gonna start looking at things differently look at this it comes with this one I'm gonna put on my link comes with two bulbs and they're both DC now the reason for that is this battery stores energy as DC so running the DC ports hardly takes any power whatsoever running the AC ports even though you're not using them if there's still some inefficiency and in just running that inverter 
And yeah, you want to run, <laughs> you'd much rather have a DC load. I love these LED bulbs. I love that the switch is so close to, uh, well, not the light, but where it plugs in. I love that. It's a great idea. I want to get definitely get pick up some of those. That would be rather, rather cool. Some people like to be able to plug in their CPAP machine so that if they go camping, they can still breathe. <laughs> uh, I like to use it to charge skateboards, bicycles, um, laptops. I run the internet. You know, I pull, pull the internet wherever I want. I can usually run the internet and pop, pop up a little base station. Hey, recently we went houseboating and it was great. I went out on the houseboat. I would have loved to have a panel like this that I could plug into a generator and that generator would simply run my internet and it would charge the notebooks and the phones and it would be fantastic. Unfortunately, I did not bring mine along and we ended up using the generator on the back of the boat, which means when the kids just wanted to surf the internet, we had to run a gasoline motor. How inefficient is that? It would have been much better to take that same energy, charge something like this, and that be able to run those quietly for hours without the motor on. That would have been genius. Anyway, guys, I do like this kind of stuff a lot. If you like it too, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this stuff, please ask it down below. Um, I'm a big fan of these generators because I think that is the a safe, responsible design of a solar generator is worth its weight in gold. I built my own uh, setups, and the hardest part is cutting off power when it gets too low on the battery. All the monitoring equipment, you're watching millivolts of <laughs> differences to cut off the power at the right spot. Also, turning it off when it gets too much power. You don't want to overcharge these. You don't want to undercharge them. And you've just added a layers on layers of complexity on this and cost. Anyway, guys, this is a lot of fun. And uh, this is a good panel. I do like it because it is rugged. It is waterproof. Uh, it has the built-in DC inverter that allows me to do things with it. It has some good snaps, some a good handle, and um, some, uh, some good buckles. That all makes it for a well-made product. I like this, uh, this, this light power panel a lot it is pretty cool anyway guys thanks so much for watching i will have some solar generators coming soon and we'll take a look at those and we're going to take a look at their max input power their max output power and their storage and kind of like come up with a formula for what's a good deal anyway guys i will continue to push, try and push things over the limit because i believe this stuff should be engineered to protect you the consumer and your investment so if they burn out like this i'm just not going to recommend them so Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Talk to you soon.